which time the vehicle midway down the block uh, crashed and came to a halt. The occupants of the vehicle then exited in multiple directions and fled. We currently have a person of interest uh, being interviewed by area detectives at the area. And out of this incident, there are 14 victims being treated at five separate area hospitals. Conditions are unknown at this time. That's we currently, uh, the detectives will be conducting a canvas for the rest of this evening and early tomorrow. We are hoping that the uh, community, if you have any video or anybody that knows anything, will uh, help the detectives in their canvas and offer any information that can help solve this crime. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah. It's Deuteronomy 2854. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward his wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Take you are evil towards your brother, which is yourself. This is John chapter 4 verse 20 through 21 if a man saith I love God and hated his brother he is a liar for he that loved not his brother whom he hath seen how can he love God whom he hath not seen all right folks there you have it Chicago blood bath at least 14 gun down outside Chicago funeral home and ambush at the service for murder victim as violence explodes at least 14 people were ambushed by gunmen outside of Chicago funeral home at the service for a murder victim last night amid a rise in violence in the city. The fire department told CBS2 that one woman was shot multiple times while several others have been left in a critical condition after the drive-by shooting in the Auburn Gresham area in the south of the city. Several people were shot at the funeral home in Chicago. First Deputy Superintendent Eric Carter said mourners outside a funeral home were fired upon from a passing SUV. Carter said several targets of the shooting returned fire. The SUV later crashed and the occupants fled in several directions. One person of interest has been taken into custody. Carter says all the victims were adults. So they shooting at each other in the middle of a funeral. I mean, Jake don't even give each other a chance to mourn. Wow. One person of interest has been taken into custody. Carter says all the victims were adults. The officials also said that 14 victims were taken to five hospitals and 60 shell casings were found. So 60 gunshots at the funeral. Man, Jake is just out of, way out of control. It wasn't immediately known if anyone other than attendees of the funerals were victims know if anyone in the SUV has been wounded. The person in custody was uninjured and it's still unclear how many attackers were involved according to authorities. Witnesses told CBS that they were out inside the funeral home when the shots were fired. This comes after a weekend of violence in the city which saw 63 separate shootings prompting Donald Trump to brand the town worse than Afghanistan. And see, they, they get ready to start sending federal troops in there. It's not the first time they didn't did that. Remember they had them tanks and stuff rolling in Chicago, I think it was like a year, two years ago. You know? This is going to be a great insurrection. Figures from the start of July show that 1,500 people have been shot in Chicago this year. From just July. That's around three times the number in New York City. It's just showing them, you know, cordoned off the area. Speaking about the funeral home shootout, Arnita Goddard told the Chicago Sun-Times that she was at home watching TV when she heard gunshots. She said we went out in the streets and all we saw was bodies just laying everywhere. They were shot up everywhere. We thought it was a war out here. Yeah, it is a war. Jake against Jake. Jake hate his brother. It's ridiculous all the shooting that's going on out here. It really has to stop. The shooting comes just one day after President Trump ordered 175 federal agents into Chicago as he vows to combat violent Black Lives Matter protests. So see, they call them Black Lives Matter protests violent 
and you you just random Jake's is violent, you know, they they're building their case against you because Esau's get ready to unleash his sword on you Jake's. You know, this ain't nothing. Wait till wait till Esau had to get fed up totally with you Jake's. There's gonna be bodies everywhere. He's gonna mow you Jake's down for not listening. This is why you need to listen to the ways of the most high. But hey, Jake is hard headed. No question about reports that send additional officers to the area, Trump replied, well, it depends on what your definition of troops is. I mean, we're sending law enforcement. Before confirming reports, the president made it clear that he would be taking action against several cities that have seen ongoing protests. All right, these are just the pictures. Speaking from the White House on Monday, Trump said, we're not going to let New York, Chicago, Philly, Detroit, and Baltimore, and all of these Oakland is a mess. We're not going to let this happen in our country. All run by liberal Democrats. Man, wherever you saw it is madness. Jake's mad too. It doesn't matter the Democrats, Republican, you know, Whigs, it doesn't matter. Conservatives, liberal, it's all the same. A bunch of madness. If they ain't following the ways of the most high, you're gonna get madness. I don't care where you at. You'll be following Buddha, Gandhi, whoever. To bet it doesn't matter. If the most high ain't in the midst of it, it's all folly. The law enforcement officers will focus on illegal gun sales and gun violence among other targets, CNN reported. Early on Monday, Chicago's Mayor Lori Lightfoot voiced her concerns with sending in the troops. She said, we don't need federal agents without any insignia taking people off the streets and holding them. I think unlawfully. That's not what we need. That's what you're going to get, though. You know, this is what this what Esau is going to give you. You you give you giving him the case to do that against you, Jakes. You know? That's why I say two-thirds of us are going to have to go. Because we is hard-headed. On Monday, the Chicago Police Department said in a statement to the Chicago Tribune, the Chicago Police Department does not maintain any authority over the federal government's deployment of federal law enforcement agents to the city of Chicago. We regularly work alongside our local and federal law enforcement agency partners towards the common goal of keeping Chicago residents safe. If federal agents are deployed, it is critical that they coordinate with the Chicago Police Department and work alongside us to fight violent crime in Chicago. Alright, this is Leviticus 19.18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. And Jake is just just killing the shit out of each other. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Alright, hopefully you was edified as I was. And yeah, Jake is just out here on a rampage. You know, all these plagues and all this stuff going on. Jake is, Jake is just wilding out. You know, it's like the, the world is just speeding down, a spiraling down in more and more turmoil. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out real quick to you guys. Um, stay on your prayers, Yasharala. All right, on to the next one. All praise to the Most High Shalom.